I, I never, I never tried to recruit anybody to super ego. No, um, no, I, uh, ever, ever did that. Now some other people did, but, uh, not, not me. What's up YouTube. Welcome back to breaking truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what? 60. He's just going to break bad. Him and a truckers coach in the building. <laughs> all right. So we we look listen. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna beat around the bush or anything like that, man. Look, no more wasting time. Let's get it. Uh, truckers coach, you know I've been following you for a long time, a long time. Um, I knew when you got over the ego. I knew that you was a big proponent of ego. You uh. You know, you you pretty much say, "Yo, come over to Super Ego." Is you know, do this, do that. Uh, no, that's a uh, that's that's false. I never told anybody to come to Super Ego. Oh, okay, okay. Well, no, get, get no, me no, right no, now. No, get, no. Get, get me right because uh, uh, yeah. yeah, no, I, I never I never tried to recruit anybody to Super Ego. No, um, no, I uh, ever ever did that. Now some other people did, but uh, not not me. All uh, right. All right, that's what's up. This keep 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 it right. <laughs> Always love to get the uh, yeah, yeah. get the answers from the horse's mouth, man. So, how long you been? Yeah. How how long? Well, first thing first, what what allured you over to Super Ego in the first place? The ability to own the truck and the trailer, get out of there and start my own authority with equipment. Okay, okay, and that was the, and that was the uh, mm -hmm. that was the aesthetic of of what was what was said to you and offered to you in the beginning yeah that's it i mean uh, my my thought was i could get the equipment cheap which they do sell the equipment for cheap um and uh pay it out in three years and go get my own authority that that was the plan all right I, how about you and that was Tim, that was Tim's plan to, that was his plan too yeah uh, all right, Tim. So, what? How, how was your plan? Like, you know, what was it, what was it? What was it for you uh, to come over to Super Eagle? Well, that that was the exact plan. That was the exact plan, as uh, the coach explained to you. Mm -hmm. You know, because of their their cost for the equipment was so low, uh, it made sense to go over to Ego to buy that equipment in three to four years, whatever it was. Um, and then depending on how it was, now I might have went out and got my own authority or I may have just stayed at Ego. But either way, that's what drew me over to Ego was because of uh, the cost of the equipment being so low. All right. So, Coach, man, what happened? What I know they from what I heard from other drivers. Well, every, everything, every everything happened, and all of these guys that are putting out <laughs> putting out information to uh, tell you that they skim off the top and they do all this stuff. That's all true. Um, one hundred. That's all one hundred percent freaking true. I uh, I cannot tell you enough to stay away from that place. They are crooks. They are criminals, and. They are they are terrible, I mean absolutely terrible. So are you, I have had paychecks that were seventy nine dollars there. Ooh, Jesus Christ! So, coach, mm -hmm. you 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 don't think? Well, how long have you been with them? How, how long have you drove for them before? I didn't uh, I didn't I didn't stay that long, dude. We stayed three or four months, and that was it. I mean, it might have been like three, but. We didn't stay long enough because if you stay long enough, you're going to go bankrupt. Ooh. And uh, like I we, had to, we had to get out of there, dude. Go, I mean, go, like I we, did. Go ahead, Tim. Go ahead. The three, the three months that the, we were there, the three months that we were there, I stayed out the entire time, except mm. for five or six days of it. Uh, but other than that, I stayed out the whole entire time. And um, every week, I was either making enough, just enough to cover my cost and have a few hundred bucks left over, or it was negative. Wow. It was negative. All right. So, mm -hmm. so Coach, it, oh, go ahead, Tim. I'm sorry. You want to add something else? No, I was just, well, I was just going to say it was all because of them skimming. 
that were just skimming way too much, you know, because I can look on the load board and see these loads going for over $2 a mile, but they wanted to offer these loads to you a buck 60, a buck 70. Okay. Before, so let me, let me, let me ask you, gross. Let, me, let me ask you this. Let me, let me ask both of you guys this. Now we all came in, uh, you know, with, with the hopes of, of, you know, getting your goals with this company. How did you guys come to find out that Super Ego was actually, you know, skimming off the top? I mean, I'm I'm sure Super Ego wouldn't oh, turn around I mean, and say it, it's it's a, it's 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 easy to figure it out. Well, I mean, one there's... one you don't get the Raycon, you mm-hmm. don't get the original Raycon, and two, all you have to do is compare it to the low board same lane, and if exactly. the same lane say. saying. Yeah, two thirty. If the if the if the low board's paying two twenty, two thirty, and they're offering you one seventy, one eighty, mm-hmm. you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, they're taking off the top. I mean, and if you're you hmm? tell them you want a rate con to back up the rates that they're offering you, and they refuse to give you a rate con, mm-hmm. well, that's a dead giveaway right there that they're taking you for a run. So how? So yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, they will not give you the Raycon. It don't matter what you say. It don't matter who, how far up you want to talk to people. It don't matter. You ain't getting a Raycon. So it's like, okay, so I'm I'm not a lease guy. I, I did lease a long time ago. Wasn't happy. Got away from it. But it's like, it, it's like what I've been saying before. It's like, let's just say ball, let's just say a ballpark of 3000 right? So let's say the load is paying $3,000. Super Ego would would take that one thousand dollars and then offer the load to you guys for two thousand dollars, and they still would take their twenty percent off the two thousand dollars. And then they would still take the yes, but they wouldn't go that drastic. They wouldn't take a thousand off the top. Mm-hmm. But they let's just say your scenario was three thousand dollars. They would probably offer it to us for twenty four or twenty five. Mm. And Correct. still take and then take and then take the twenty percent. Yeah. So they still so 12, they double. Yeah. So they twelve percent. Okay. 12%, okay. Eighty eight. Yeah. Eighty eight percent. Yeah. So they so they they damn it, man. They double dipping like a motherfucker. How how is how oh. is it that ego is able to get away with that for so long? Because their contract says that they will give you 88% of the offered rate. Mm-hmm. Correct. Not, not, not of the booked rate. Mm. Okay, so you actually have no legal ramification against them uh, because they are not providing you a rate con where they're not manipulating the rate con, which is against the law to do. But um, they, they, they give you a dispatch sheet. So mm. on that dispatch sheet, it says you accept 88% of this fee. Mm. And That's how they in the contract, you. it says, yeah, in their contract, it says 88% of the offered rate, not booked rate. It says offered rate. Mm. And uh, that's how they get you. Wow. That's how they get you. So that's how, so that's how uh, these, uh, these other guys that made videos uh, prior to you know everything that's going on at Eagle, they like you say they don't have no type of legal ramification because it's a it's a contract that you guys already signed mm-hmm. in stone. Yeah, yeah. And what we thought was, we thought this is just me. I've had my own authority. If you don't like, I, I didn't care if they skimmed. Okay, mm-hmm. I didn't care as long as I was happy with the rate. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I if if they gave me twenty eight hundred on that three thousand and I was okay with twenty eight hundred, I'm fine with that. Okay, I, I was cool with that. So my thought going into it was, and I was told going into it that they skim, and I thought, man, I don't know, it can't be that bad right. because rates are down. They can't right. skim that much. And so, with uh, with that being said, um. I um I thought well we could just wait them out we could just refuse loads and wait them out till we get something we wanted our rate but here's the problem just like they did with Tim is they will just keep giving you the same rate mm. they can't work with every broker they so like when you go to DAT and look 
even though it's a good broker with a great credit score and stuff like that, they probably can't work with them. They they work with what would you say, Tim? Five, six, maybe seven brokers. Seven brokers is what I was told. Mm. Seven. They had, okay. They yeah, had seven. They had seven different load boards to work off of. Do they have their own contracted freight? No, no, no. Ooh. All spot market. Wow, man. All right, all spot market. All right, so well, Tim. So and, t- and the other problem is, is they run under. Multiple umbrella of companies. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, Jason? Five, yeah, five different five, companies. Four, four, five, 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 five different yeah, companies. Five, five different five shell so, companies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, that, that's another reason why they can only work with a limited number of brokers. Because and, I, would, and, and, I would have to say they're all fairly newer. And, and the one that they use the most is called Rocket. And yeah. like they will, they will dispatch you, even though you don't work for Rocket. They'll say you have to check in as Rocket Trucking, mm-hmm. and uh, or Rocket Transportation, or whatever it is. Rocket Truck, Rocket, whatever. Rocket and Jordan was the two main ones. Yeah, and you had to check in as those guys, even though you wasn't. The side of your truck said something else, and that that just it just throws up red flags and and, mm-hmm. and, and stuff like that. We knew. We knew after the first, like, six or seven weeks we had to get out of there, but it just took us a little bit of time to find a place to go um, and uh, get to something that was going to be steady and uh, made us uh, made sense for us. So we had, to, we had to wait it out a little bit, and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, we went from there. But, um, you know, I, I don't recommend this to my worst enemy. So, Coach, man, it's a good thing that uh, I was able to bring you on because, you know, I, I you know, I, I watch other uh, YouTubers, TikTokers and stuff like that. And, you know, a couple of them did kind of mention like, well, you know, uh, yada, yada, yada. This guy said this and this, that, this, that and the third. So it's cool that you came on to clarify that, you know, you wasn't a proponent of super ego you know like trying to promote them trying to you know uh try to get people to come in because of the because of the um what what's ever not once man did i ever try to recruit anybody to super ego never not one time all right how about now tim yo now it sounds as though your your um situation with super ego kind of mirrors the same thing was going on with coach can you elaborate? Uh, elaborate? Oh, yeah. elab- elaborate? Can you elaborate? Elaborate a little bit more on on you know on your, uh, you know your feelings, your situations with Super Ego. Well, the experience, like I said, it was just exactly how we described it. Uh, you know, the whole time I'm out there. Um, I'm getting offered these, these crappy rates and they want to just send me a dispatch sheet. They would never really want to back it up with a, uh, rate con. And, uh, so it was either you accepted or you set. And mm. I tried playing that set game. I, I set mm. California for almost three days because I would I would not accept their their full crap rate. Also. Oh my God! I, and, I'm, uh, I'm glad. Let, let me hold. Let me hold you up right there. <laughs> I I just got finished watching a video of a young lady. Uh, she's a popular uh, YouTuber and TikToker, and she just started over at Super Eagle maybe about I want to say a month ago or something like that. You know, the videos come sporadic, but they had her city uh-huh. in California for three days bro you're not supposed to be sitting if you're a lease driver paying that kind of money for their oh. trucks man that's not cool and i sat there for three days i sat there for three days because they were trying to offer me loads for a dollar 15 a dollar 20 that's <laughs> gross that's not what they're 12 percent taking out yet oh my god i think and, the, uh, i think the highest load that they offered you out of there during that three days was like a dollar 40 something Yes. Wow. And that was the one I, 
uh, eventually had to break down and take just to get the hell out of there. Just to get out of California. Mm-hmm. If they know, if yeah. they knew that California is like a such of a dead spot for you coming out, I'm assuming the allure to go to California is the money that's going in. They do they tell you that in the beginning no. or no? Well, here no. here's the way the load board works. And you you get your money coming out of California right now, going east. Um, you know, and it may have changed a little bit. I haven't been watching California since Tim was out there. But uh you go in a little bit cheaper and you come out expensive. But um but not with them. Not with them. You go in cheap and come out cheaper. Wow. Then why? Well, Tim, let me ask you. Why did you accept it? Because he had no choice. I had, had no, no choice. choice. Yeah, I had no choice but to because I would have sat there for. Well, no, 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 no. Why, why accept going to California? That's That's what I meant. I know you had no choice. To accept oh. it coming out, but going in. Oh, well, I'll well, tell you, I, I, I can tell you exactly why I accepted it because they promised visions of grandeur going in. Mm. They say, they say, hey, if you take this load, I know it don't look that good going to California, but I'll get you something really good coming out. Mm. Yep. And uh, that's the that's that's why you get lured into going. They say, oh, we got good rates coming out of California. I, I was told that and told that. I will get you something good coming out. And, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. Wow. That didn't Man, happen. That's, that's, that's crazy. That, that is, Supposedly, that is crazy. Whenever I delivered, I delivered that load in California and I had one that was set up that was going to pay me to the truck a dollar 80 coming out. Okay. Okay. This is where it all went south. It was going to pay a dollar eighty to the truck, um, and right probably ten minutes before I arrived at that shipper, he called me and said, "Oh, they canceled." Wow! Something else. You do you like, do you, you think they canceled? Do you think they canceled because they was able to get somebody else they, to do it cheaper? No, uh, they canceled because I was lied to about that even being a, a load. Gotcha. You understand? Because he pre-planned that on me before I even got into California and delivered. Mm. So that was my lure to go into California. Yeah, it was. That was the lure. It was, the lure was, hey, we're getting you this coming out. So go ahead and accept this load because I've already got this one booked coming out. Yeah. Which was like a, uh, a, sh- a scam load or a or shell load or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it, shell didn't, load. it didn't exist. Yeah, it didn't exist. Right. And uh, so that canceled. And then, according to him, he couldn't find anything good. So I sat there the rest of the day when I had all my hours available to me. I sat there the rest of the day. The next day rolled on. Then he started shooting out all these load balls. And I'm like, what happened here? I had this load. That was going to pay me almost a dollar ninety coming out. Now it went from that to a buck ten, a buck mm. twenty. That's well, damn that's, that's damn that's, near that's, driving for that's, free, that's, considering that's, the fact that you got a that that it's about a thousand dollars for fuel right now. Well yeah. I mean it is driving for free. Yeah. You know, every load hey, you that take, he was offering me, I was gonna go backwards. Uh, twenty-two cents a mile. I, was I mean, if, to pay out of pocket twenty-two cents a mile to load to move that load. Yeah, if you if you look at a dollar twenty something a mile times point eight eight eighty eight percent, that's a dollar five a mile, dude. And I had to make a dollar forty six a mile at minimum to the truck to pay for everything: the truck expenses, the fuel, uh, home bills, everything. So my Minimum number I had to make to the truck was a dollar forty six. So and, and they were offering me loads at dollar twenty gross. So guys, 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 who is winning over at this company? Because it seems as though I mean it, it seems as though, you know, especially you coach, you know, you being the staple on YouTube and everything. 
it's, it seems as though that everybody is making making these you know making you guys as well as the other guys that complained about Super Ego disgrump, disgruntled drivers. Like y'all y'all don't know what y'all doing. Uh-huh. Y'all not pre- y'all not planning. Uh-huh. Y'all not y- you know y'all uh-huh. not y'all not uh-huh. budgeting uh-huh. or nothing like that. So who is uh-huh. winning uh-huh. over there, uh-huh. man? They're winning. And, um, dude, let me tell you something. These guys that are making these positive videos have not been to the trailer yard very, very often. Because I will tell you this, dude. When we went and turned in our trucks, we did it together. And when we showed up there, it looked like a Richie's Brother auction from 2008. There were so many trucks back there that had been turned in. I can send you pictures of that thing. It looked like a Richie's Brothers auction yard. And it, it, it was terrible, dude, how many trucks have been turned in. You wow. couldn't even turn it in on their main lot. You had to take it to their trailer yard. You couldn't yeah. even turn the truck in on their main lot because they had no room. Wow. That's that's crazy, man. I Man. All right, so they this had. Was- uh, and that's and, and, and that's not that's not all. Let's talk about the logs. Let's talk about logs. Yeah. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. Yeah, dude, let's switch gears for a minute. Let's let's uh let's uh <laughs> hold on. Let's switch gears for a minute. Let's talk about them logs, man, because I, I got finished talking to a driver former driver of course and he was talking about mm-hmm. how is how you know if you guys run out of logs all y'all have to do is call the the law department be like hey you know i need some more i need some more time and boom they 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 got you they got oh, that's you true. that's a hundred that's a hundred that's a hundred percent true yeah. and i never did it and and tim never did it i've never but done it they they, they always it, yeah they will always offer you like like, I was pulling a load to Phoenix, and the first day I was like, look, dude, once I get loaded, I only got two hours. He goes, oh, no, 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 no. We get you more hours. <laughs> he said, how many do you need? Five, six, seven? And I was like, dude, I don't need any. He's we'll like, uh, a whole shift back if you want to. They'll give you, you can run 24 hours a fucking day there. Jeez. Yeah, when it I mean, got time where I had to do a 34-hour reset every week. Oh, 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 we can, we can, we can give you all time back. Give they don't seventy clock back. You don't yeah. have to sit. Yep. What? Well, they don't set. ever. They, they don't yes. ever want you to stop. Jesus. Never want you to stop. And and everybody that everybody that knows me knows I run legal. And I uh I wasn't I wasn't having that man. I mean, but they uh they will off uh, automatic. They will reset your thirty four, or they will reset your fourteen on on demand, dude. Now listen, listen, guys. I I I asked the I asked the one driver. I'm 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 me and him talking, bro. I I honestly don't think that the information that we're getting, especially for the laws, I don't think Super Eagle want that out there. Like I mean I mean there's gonna Dude, come. I got it. There's I, gonna be some changes. Don't, I mean you guys do agree. Hey, that in in the coming in in the in the coming future, there's definitely going to be some changes because not only you two, but we got a gang of drivers that that comes and make videos. You know, it's the age of social media. All information got to get out I mean, there. You know, so I, it, let I me mean, tell you some, how they do it. Let, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how they do it. They do it via phone call because they don't think you're recording them. I never recorded them on the phone doing it, but they got so pissed off that I didn't want to do it. They started texting me to let them reset my logs. All right, that's a and digital. I've got it that's, on text message. I've, got, a, it, I, that's I've got, digi- got it on text message. That's a digital footprint right there. So if they didn't mm-hmm. want to, if they didn't want to put it on a digital footprint, why did they do that? Yeah, well, they did. And now, I got so pissed off that I wasn't going to get a load there on time because of the uh, way they scheduled it. And I had told them up front, dude, this needs to deliver the next day. The day I took it, I told them, 
need to deliver the night. Oh, no, 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 we'll get you more hours. No, you won't. And uh, so they had to reschedule it, and they were just pissed off that I wouldn't run more hours. Go ahead, Tim. See, and I, and I wondered how they could even get away with that. Like, right. They, you were on. You were already on a load, heading from Ohio to California, say, right? But you only had fifteen hours, and uh, and you needed like forty hours to get there, right? Right. So you're already under a load, and we we all know when you're BOL that you get nine times out of ten it's time stamp, correct? Correct. So mm -hmm. if they, so in your logs, you're, you've already put in there, arrived at shipper and loaded and all this stuff. Well, they go in and change all that. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you've got a BOL with a time, with a date and time stamp on there. But now you've got a refresh log with that being pushed back. How, how does that work? Because the DOT is going to see this stuff, they're not stupid, right? Not right. only that, but away. so I actually ran across another driver, an ex driver. He, he now works for a company out of Ohio. I ran into him. Well, actually, he ran into me. He come up and started asking me questions and stuff, uh, like you're doing. You know, if I'd ever done the log thing and all this, I was like, no. And he said, well, good, don't. So I got to asking him if he ever done it. He said, yeah, once. Um, I said, okay, so explain to me how this works. Like I just explained. And he said, well, it's easy. They make you stop and cover the date and time on your BOL and go have two copies made of it. <sighs> he said, that way the date and time is no longer on there. And those are the BOLs. The copies is what you use to continue running that load okay i'm like on. oh hold hell up. this no. crazy hold up right quick man this hell no don't i mean don't <laughs> i mean we we're we're federal like everything about trucking is uh -huh. federal like if we i mean what will happen if they reset it his clock you know if, you know reset it his clock he gets into an accident is super exactly. is, is super yeah. eagle going to be yeah. able to turn around and back the oh. driver? Oh. No, mm. no. I if you that. get caught manipulating your logs like that, dude, and you're running around the clock and fudging your thirty fours, you're on the hook. You're the I mean, driver's one hundred percent responsible. Yeah, that. that's why I never did it. Man, you're, there's, you're there's the captain of that hook. ship. So yeah. anything that happens, it's on the mm. driver, and any yeah. driver that would be willing to do that garbage it is just not a lot nuts. you know of course uh, of course a lot of drivers that are you know i'm, I'm assuming there are a lot of drivers that works for the company is is cool with that but as i said well, if you if you yeah, get pulled sure over get pulled in or if you get in the accident i mean what you going to do you're going to turn around and say hey you know my my company said it was okay but the responsibility is gonna is gonna fall on you, and you call your company up, and you be like, "Hey, you know, I got pulled over, and and I need some help." They not gonna give it to you. They 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 ain't gonna give no, it to you. They're gonna be like, "We don't even know who you, we don't even know who you are." Yeah. Wow. We don't. Know I mean, what they're talking about what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Man, yep. Super Eagle, the controversial company, man. That that's what we gonna call it from now on. Uh, Tim, would you? Would you recommend the company? No. No. <laughs> Coach? I would uh, recommend staying as far away from that place as you can get. Coach? Oh, no. I, I, ain't, rec I ain't recommend them. No. <laughs> Man, that that is crazy. That is crazy. Dude. I mean, it's it's like I said. It, they... This this company is and and it's still and to this day it's still alluring drivers there. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, you you're gonna take what everybody say. You're gonna watch the videos. You're gonna read the reviews and everything. But still, you you want to take it upon yourself to like, well, maybe, you know, what what happened to them might not happen to me. So let me just go ahead and and see what happened to me. 
and then they find out. Do you, with that said, do, I mean, do you think that the, the drivers are just, I can understand if it's like maybe one or two, you know what I'm saying? But when you got like a, like, I don't know, you, you, you got driver after driver after driver after driver after driver after driver, reviews, reviews, reviews. Shouldn't that put in your mind, like, maybe I should just stay away from this company? Yeah, you would think. But, I mean, I mean, they, they give you that vision of grandeur, man. They, yep. And then when you're there, you find out. And uh, that's when you find out. Man. Well, Coach, man, I, I honestly, I do really appreciate you coming on, brother, man. Uh, again, I bit subscriber, you know, I've been subscribed to you for, you know, for, for a long time. You know, I know your, I know your YouTube bros, bruh. Um, Tim, nice to meet you, bruh. I really appreciate you coming on and sharing your experience, uh, with super ego and everything. Bro. Uh, before you guys go, because I know, you know, I know you guys is busy and everything. Um, do you think eventually because I, I know, you know, like like you guys said, that it's a whole lot of shell companies that Super Ego is connected to. You know, of course, if Super Ego goes down, somebody else will come back up and, and bring it back up and be like, you know, same company, different name. But do you guys think eventually, you know, in the coming in the coming future that, you know, this company is gonna is gonna take uh take some accountability for what they're doing oh, yeah. i think eventually i think eventually somebody's going to turn them into the fmcsa and they're going to get audited and I, I think i there's no way you can hide all these log edits in an audit it, it's going to be hard to do and i just think eventually if they get audited i think it eventually would open up a big can of worms but i could be wrong i mean maybe they're hiding it well but I mean, I would, I would just, uh, it's not a replicable book company. I mean, I can't say that word, but I mean, it's not a replicable company. And, uh, I, um, I, I, you know, that was a huge mistake on our part and it cost us money. I mean, it, it we lost money doing that and, uh, wow. you know, thousands of dollars and, um, you know, it, it, um, mm -mm. No, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you very much, man. Awesome conversation. Uh, coach, we, we definitely going to uh, get back again, man. It was it was uh, it was a joy talking with you, bro. All right, man. Hey, thank you. Hey, you very welcome. Tim, you take it easy, man. It was again. It was nice meeting hey, you, you too, man. man. And much success to you guys in the future. All right, man. You appreciate too. it. Thanks. Hey, I'm calling back again Need a little wisdom from someone who understands Those that suffer always feel forgotten How can I make sure you feel you're not? Uh -huh. Tell me if this music thing's enough Never want